Alright, your next comic hasn't been around in a while, but I'm very glad he made it back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chris Anders! Hi, thank you. Move out of light, so there's less pressure to be seen. Some people say that you should uh, face your fears head on, but I'm terrified of confrontation. So to them I say, fuck you. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> I, uh, job interviews are a thing. Job interviews happen. I was at a coffee shop the other day, and uh, a job interview was taking place next to me, and one of the employers uh, came to ask him the question, uh, what is your worst trait? And the guy said, I guess it would be that I'm a workaholic. <laughs> and they thought it was funny, but I thought it was terrible. You don't often get to see a relapse. <laughs> The employer is an enabler. I was in DC the other day, or like the other week. I don't know, I didn't have to correct myself right there. You could have believed me. But I'm going to be honest. I, I was in DC the other week, and there was a, a guy who uh, must have thought that I said, Do you want to go to Brazil? Because what he said to me was, I'd rather die than go to fucking Brazil. And the funny thing is, what I said was nothing. And so he was crazy, and it just kind of gives you perspective on things. I don't know. I always thought Brazil was a nice place. And so that's the perspective I got. I don't trust smart people. I always feel they know something I don't. I don't trust people who say nice and legal. Because it's never nice. And at best it's questionable. Depending on jurisdiction. Like maybe euthanasia is illegal here. But my grandma's life support cord is 15 feet long. And the state line is, you guessed it, 13. <laughs> I don't know why they built that hospital on a state line in my joke. <laughs> but it worked out for the best. <laughs> Not for my grandma. I... Gift cards are things, speaking of things. Do you guys keep gift cards after uh, you use all the money? Yes. No? Yes? Okay. Yeah. Oh, why do you keep them? Denial. I'll get on board. Uh, I, I, you can use tons. Of, you can use gift cards for uh, tons of things after they're all spent. You can uh, divvy up cocaine. You can try and trade them to your friend who deals cocaine. You can use them to break into your acquaintance's house who sells cocaine. <laughs> what I, I like uh, to do is uh, I keep my gift cards and then uh, I look for people who've got parking tickets. And I'll slip it into the envelope with a note that says, I'm really sorry about this, hope it helps. Because people need to know that the system is broken. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't now. Maybe they don't care. Yeah, I, I have a friend who uh, said he stopped sleeping with a girl because she was crazy. That's why she was crazy. And he said uh, she wanted to be his girlfriend. Which is fucked up, because that was a build-up to nothing. What he should have said was, oh, she likes to put fire in her vagina and brag about how she's too hot to twat. <laughs> <laughs> and then start trotting. Thank you, everybody. Chris Anderson. Sanders, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it.
Uh, we're getting to the home stretch. Just got it, like a just got a couple more left. Uh, your next comic, he's a regular here. I'm glad he was able to make it out tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gary Martin. All right. So uh, I was poured over the other day, and the cop said, uh, "You know what I'm pulling you over for?" It's like, no. He's like, I'm pulling you over for DUI, drinking other influence. I was like, that's absurd. I don't drink. He's like, sir, is that your crack pipe? He's like, well, you said you were pulling me over for drinking other influence. Never said I under the influence. Because I'm high as a motherfucker right now. He didn't like that too much. Uh, I saw a home, uh, I also saw a cop do the homeless guy a ticket for drinking public. That's just a dick move to do. He's drinking in his house. That's, yeah. My uh, friend asked me, he's like, you ever had a boy drop from a fat girl before? I was like, no, I haven't been that drunk. He's like, oh man, he's like, that's the best boy job you ever get. Fuck, I'm sure it is, they're always fucking hungry. It's like, you're about one second away from her thinking that's your dick or that's a big bite from 7-Eleven. It's like, that's a dangerous. I met a rude person the other day. He bumped into me in the grocery store. And then uh, he's like, yeah, I'm Jewish. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? And then uh, I, was, I just pulled him close into me. And I was like, you know what? Whatever happened when people went quietly into the gas chamber? I don't know. favorite show I watch now is How to Catch a Predator, because I haven't saw Arnold Schwarzenegger or Predator on that show one time. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking bullshit. It's false advertisement. It's, it's like, all I see is a bunch of fat child molesters. That wasn't in the movie. <laughs> Uh, my mom moved to Egypt. She met a man on a crazy list, because that's safe. Nothing's bad ever happened to that. And uh, she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Egypt. Okay, well, that makes you a fucking no water bride, because he paid for you, Joe, so... We are no longer associated. So, uh, she called me, she's like, I'm coming back to uh, the United States. I was like, well, I am moving. Because you are no longer my mother anymore. Can't be associated with people that's associated with terrorists. I have drugs in my house, I can't have the FBI in there. Um, so we still have the same president, which is cool. I'm pretty pissed off with him though, because the first time he ran for president, he had an ad on Facebook that said, Be Barack Obama's friend. That friend has never commented, posted, or anything on my Facebook wall. He's a shitty ass Facebook friend. I'm really thinking about deleting him. Taking up my friend's space. All of my 30 friends. <laughs> uh, this is my last one I'm going to get out here. Uh, I did vote. They say every vote that counts. I don't believe that because I did a write-in vote. I wrote for, or I voted for Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, he'd be the best fucking president we ever had. He's he's a leader. He leads the fucking Avengers. What more do you want? He's you know violent. Did you ever see Pulp Fiction? There would no longer be a terrorist problem in America. And he would just be the most funniest president we ever had. Because before he came and did the uh, address of the nation, they would have to put a message that says, for mature audiences only. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, that's my time. Gary Martin, ladies and gentlemen. All right.
Like I said, we're getting to the home stretch. Your next guy, another regular here, big supporter of the show. Glad he's able to be here at the second anniversary. Have a good night, Cat. Have a good night, Austin. Uh, drive safe, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, give it for the very funny Leo Marina. Yes, McCormick's has been two years. Two horrible, horrible years, depending on my bullshit. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I shaved. I'm not a fan of it. Sorry. I really got My face is cold. <laughs> it's even worse now because it's November. You guys know about this, right? Like, you grow a sash to support the single cancer or some other bullshit. I don't know. I fucking can't stand it. I call this month Pube Stash Member. That's what everybody's fucking doing, it looks like, okay? I had a dude come to me the other day. His upper lip looked like it fell on the floor of a barber shop. And I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna give you money. It's not gonna get, if I donate this shit, it'll make you grow faster. It's fucking stupid, you know? Eh, moving on. Anyway, the election's over. You guys glad about that? Woo! Yeah, yeah thank God. Everybody can shut the fuck up about it on Facebook. Amen. Jesus, man. I can't stand it. You know, it's weird because there's talks of secession now. But yeah, people want to leave the country. And you know what? If everybody who supported Romney wants to go ahead and leave, I'm all for it. We'll be fucking better off, trust me, okay? Like, I actually heard today that a gay Republican killed himself over the election. How fucked up is that? I can't live in a world where a president supports my right to marry. <laughs> exactly. However, now I'm going to move on to what people know me for, and that's the nerd jokes. Here we go. You, you guys want to know the biggest group of racist and bigoted people on the planet are? Teenage Halo players. In the past 24 hours, I've been called the N-word and the F-word more times than RuPaul at a fucking clan rally. <laughs> I don't understand it, but I mean, I just keep going with it. I mean, I really do, because I'm a whore for games, okay? You guys have any idea how many cartridges I blew when I was a kid? <laughs> <laughs> and you know the score, sometimes you gotta blow the Nintendo, too. And I remember getting on my knees, just blowing it away, and my dad walking in like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> oh, this kid I'm raising. But you know, he, he's the one to talk, fuck that. My parents were sexual freaks, okay? I remember walking in, coming home from school when I was like eight years old and like just down the hall as loud as possible I heard SUCK MY COCK! <laughs> and it just blew my mind because I have never heard my mom yell that loudly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's just kind of funny too because my parents and my friends are very supportive however like they kind of give me the wrong kind of support. Like recently I've been trying to kind of like just cut down on my weed smoking and it's just weird because I, I recently had like a, a reverse intervention like, I, I was sitting down, and, like, my friends and family were like, hey, you know, here, tell, you, tell you what, here's a, here's a glass of beer. Here's this bowl we packed it for you. Uh, you're not fun anymore. This is what makes you fun. And I'm just like, Mom, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to be a better person. But, I mean, she's right, though. I mean, like, it just loosens you up, man. I'm sorry, you know? And, like, sometimes, it, you know, if you're lucky... You will find something that you're really good at while you're stoned. And you know you're good at it when you can do it while you're just fucked up on drugs, okay? Let me give you an example, okay? There was a dude named Doc Ellis. He used to pitch for the Pittsburgh Pirates, okay? And he once pitched a no-hitter while completely fucked up on LSD. <laughs> Serious, it's true, look it up. Seriously. Break out the smartphones, all right? And I just wish to God I could have heard the play-by-play -play on this, all right? Like, bottom of the ninth, two strikes, two outs. Doc Ellis is one pitch away from hitting a no-hitter. He's not foaming at the mouth. <laughs> and he's either winding up for the pitch or fighting off invisible demons. <laughs> it's hard to tell from the booth, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, he has completely disrobed. <laughs> but there's the pitch. Strike! Pirates win the game. They're rushing on field to grab Doc. He is now defecating into his own glove. <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> well, Carmex, I love you. You guys stay up, and more importantly, stay free, alright? Stay free, everybody! Leo brought to you by Maxi Pads, awesome.